was not Grandma Alma. Didn't you hear her? It was a room service waitress who didn't want somebody to bump into her tray, so she said, don't move. I am the one that knows her voice. Will you calm down? What would Grandma Almo be doing here in Las Vegas anyway? No, not her. Her spirit. I'm so cursed. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's okay. Wait a second. You're sorry about what? About everything that's happened to us since we left Bay City. It's the curse, you know? If anything, it's me. I have lousy travel karma. Always have. The limo breaking down? Oh, I, I, I've broken down many, many times even before I met you. The luggage is getting lost. Airlines lose my luggage 50% of the time. Uh, the, the crazy guy that we hitchhiked with who could only talk about suicide and, oh, and 110 degrees in the shade? What shade? The, oh, I, what, I, what I'm trying to say, Cass, is, is that you deserve somebody better. You really do. Frankie, all those things that happened were just accidents. They could have happened to anybody. Get some sleep, shall we? I think, I think that you should find yourself a nice, quiet, gentle woman who'll settle down with you and give you a nice family. Right now, I'd settle for two hours sleep. You don't need me next to you. You don't need some freak who who's brings you thunderbolts and lightning and hexes hey, and broken hey, down limos. Hey, and... I would much rather be with you than Mrs. Happy Homemaker and our beautiful children with their perfectly straight teeth. Okay? Austin. Thank you, I am. As I've said a number of times. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. I'm what sorry. now? I, I, I'll let you get some sleep, I'm sorry. No, no, don't do that. Tell me what, and then I'll get some sleep. I was just thinking that that's nice, you know? What you said about wanting to be with me? Nothing terrible's happening. Frankie. Frankie! Frankie, come back here, Frankie! Hey!